Welcome to episode 37 of the Blockbusters podcast. I'm Brian. And I'm Paul. Uh, today we're going to uh, take on the epic Godzilla. Yes, we are. And if you hear a little bit of noise in the background every now and again, that's because our own mini Godzilla. <laughs> that is, is our demi Godzilla. <laughs> it's, it's stuck in a room upstairs. So do bear yes. with us if she becomes a little more audible yes. as the podcast goes on. So, yes, let's go with a brief synopsis of Godzilla for which I am not prepared <laughs> the go- oh what was Godzilla I think it was I think uh, it, I think it's some big social monster. commentary yes. about some the wars in Iraq I don't know was it something like that oh probably was <laughs> um, I mean there were some army people in it so yeah, therefore yeah, yeah. it must the be. world's most famous monster is pitted against malevolent creatures who bolstered by humanity's scientific arrogance threaten our very existence Hmm, okay. I, okay. I like that as a description because that is what the film is about. However, mm-hmm. if you see the trailer for this film mm-hmm. and then you read that description, you're seeing two different things there. I, yeah, I mean, I mean, trailers are built to get your butt in the seat and not really tell you what's going on, essentially. You well, know. well, true. I mean, I'll, I'll jump back to this after I do the cast because this was a point I wanted to make quickly. So... We have, let's say, the main character, which, again, if you see the trailer, this might shock you. Aaron Taylor Johnson is the main character of this film. Who, who, who? Aaron Taylor Johnson, (laughs) yes. And the name does sound a little familiar, and it's not the guy from Home Improvement. No, no, no. It is the guy... (laughs) Zachary Taylor Thomas. Yes, exactly. It is the guy from Kick-Ass, which probably will shock a lot of people because he doesn't look anything like he no, does no, no, in kick ass. No. Looks much better than he does in kick ass. Yeah, it's, re- it's He's a not really... a high squeaky voice for a white kid with an afro, you know? No, yeah. No. I I still want to see Kick Ass 2. No, just I... just because I want to see I've heard they just kind of go off the rails with it. I want to see the train wreck as it were. Uh, <laughs> good I'm, luck to you. I'm not saying report I'm gonna, back. I'm not saying I'm going to spend any money on it. No, no, no. When it hits net That'll no. be when I, I would see. spend money destroying copies of it if I could. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yes. All no, right, next uh, yes, second no, bill. No offense, Mr. No. Taylor T- No, none at all. All right, second, I'll say Brian Cranston, the wonderful mm. Brian Cranston. As oh, of course. Joe Brady. Heisenberg himself. Yeah. And then we have Ken Watanabe as Dr. Ishiro Serizawa. And we have Elizabeth Olsen. The, Who, no, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, at this point, slowly overtaking her sisters. I yes, say. I was going to say yes. If, if you think, watching this film, wow, she looks a lot like she could be a sister to Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, uh, that's because she is. <laughs> it is not one of them. I don't. I forget, is she younger? I think she she's is younger. younger yeah, yeah. She is younger. Yeah. I believe the Olsen twins but are But she looks older. just like them. I mean, like, they could, should, should be triplets. But they still have their billion-dollar direct-to-video empire. And Yeah, so. I mean, the Olsen twins, I don't think, need to be in anything ever again. No, they're doing clothing now, I believe. And why I know this, I don't know. I think it's... <laughs> Watching Ellen at the gym. I think that's what I can blame. Oh, there we go. (laughs) Nothing I've certainly researched. No. No. All right. Yeah, so she also appears as uh, Kick-Ass's wife. Yeah. Right? (laughs) If we can just use short term here. (laughs) Yes, it's L. Brady. Yes, L. They they couldn't be bothered to put an N at the end. It's just L. L. (laughs) Why, yeah. Yeah. Why waste syllables? Yeah, there we go. Uh, and the last one I had written down, obviously not the last person in the mm. film, but the last one I had written down is good old Andy Circus really? makes an appearance as Godzilla. As Godzilla, <laughs> he did the uh, he motion did the capture? motion capture. Oh, okay, Godzilla. all right. Well, I had to then. <laughs> I think you can't ignore the great actress Juliette Binoche. Well, no. Yes, I mean, yeah. even though she's in the film, very spoiler alert, briefly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Pounding on a door. D- depends on your die. definition of spoiler. Technically, it's in the trailer. It is, is it? also yeah. just the first five minutes of the film. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But she is an amazing actress, and I mean, it's cool that she got that. You know, she did this part that she has about three minutes of screen time or whatever. And then also, I think, uh, noteworthy is David Strathairn, who plays the Admiral. Which he, I mean, he's just, I think, an excellent actor. Very underrated. Needs to be in bigger pictures, but maybe that's his choice. But I first became aware of him in uh, Good Night and Good Luck. The George Clooney directed movie. Yeah, I've heard of it. I've not seen it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. He was awesome in it. But, uh, 
And then you have just lots of other people. I have yes. no idea who they are. <laughs> yeah, that, the those, masses. Yeah. The, the, the crowds that look up and say, gosh, you're not, and yeah. run. Yes, unfortunately, no. it isn't quite the norm to cast lots of people you know in these action films. No. You tend to get five or six that you know. Well, and I understand that, too, because you can't be like, oh, that's Brad Pitt running from Godzilla. Because yeah. that's a little, you know... Yeah. Oh, it's Brad Pitt. That was yeah. my, you know, let's leave your other problems with World War Z out of it. That <laughs> yeah. was my one problem, is like, oh, that's Brad Pitt running from zombies. Yeah. <laughs> He's too famous. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it needs to be yeah. one of those... It, it is a problem with celebrities now. They need to get roles that they immerse into the character rather than yeah. they are the vehicle. And unless you're them. Daniel Day-Lewis, who can become anyone, <laughs> <laughs> then you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> then yeah. you need an unknown. And, <laughs> and can I also say, I'm sorry, uh, he's a child, but I hated that fucking kid that played the son. <laughs> oh, God damn it, he was annoying. I want to see him dead more than Carl from The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god. That, that Sam Brody. That is saying, oh my god, I hate Carl, but this kid was annoying too. <laughs> Ugh. All right. I think that covers the cast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think without just getting into <laughs> meh and kind of meh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Godzilla. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, you already credited Godzilla. Yeah, yeah, so got the Godzilla. Oh, yeah. Who, who are the Mut- Mutra? Yeah, that, the... that's the thing. The Mutos, I don't have any motion capture. No they motion capture them, credits so. for them? Okay, yeah. they're probably just all... I, I think they were... Obviously, they're not alien, but they were alien mm-hmm. enough to not really be yeah. needing someone they're, as a motion capture. Yeah, they're mixed so. between, like, a bug and some sort of well, you got, alien... Well, yeah. I'll say, you basically had Starship Troopers yeah. and Mothra yeah. kind of together, mm-hmm. and that's what they were fighting, really. So, yeah, I wanted to jump back. The trailer for this film mm-hmm. did a fantastic job I think it should be what most trailers should be it was utterly misleading not only does it seem to show you that Brian Cranston's character will be the main human oh, character oh yeah in the film. which I was really pissed off yeah. about. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I enjoyed the fact that they wow they really are going to kill us someone like that someone that yeah. they were using to really mm-hmm really push forward with the film but also in the main trailers you saw Godzilla seemingly attacking the populace and even that scene where you see it in the trailer the bunker doors like whatever the the safe habitat for the people it's still in the city yeah. closing and you see Godzilla roaring at them I guess mm-hmm. yeah, as the doors are closing and then in the actual film and yeah, we we are spoiling most of this film, so get over it. As the doors are closing, you see Godzilla attacking one of the Mutos instead. There's nothing aimed at the people instead. It's a different scenario entirely, which I thought was a fantastic idea. They really gave you an idea of this is going to be Godzilla attacking humans rather than this is Godzilla keeping the status quo, as it were, in nature and getting rid of these uber predators I guess they would be yeah <laughs> so yeah I kind of want to shake whoever did the trailer by the hand and say well done yeah, this because, is what I want yeah, yeah it was the opposite of the uh, the Dark Knight trailer it just gave too much <laughs> away yeah you know it just like gave these pivotal moments away and you're just waiting for those moments to happen while you're watching the film yeah this was a <laughs> Just a clever misdirection as to what the film's about. Even if, I mean, yeah, okay, I'll get over the Brian Cranston bit. <laughs> but, I mean, it was a bit like when they touted Angelina Jolie and Gone in 60 Seconds or something. And she's gone in 60 seconds in that <laughs> film. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. I had another example in mind, but, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, this person's in this famous person. They just pop in and say, hello, and then they're gone. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where it's difficult to, to toe the line because... Brian Cranston is not a cameo. He is a major character that ends up dying. But you could argue that the person that plays Ford Brody's mother is almost kind of a cameo because she's only in it for so long. And so therefore it's kind of acceptable to give you that character who then dies off because it's so quick. Well, he has more scenes. I think think cameo, isn't that limited to like one or scene? I think cameo is kind of... Is almost time, and there has to be a certain level of celebrity to use that word cameo, right? Yeah, I can't have a cameo in a film. (laughs) (laughs) I am an extra. Well, no. no. I mean, you got. Let's say I would argue that. 
Tom Cruise in Tropic Thunder is a cameo because he's so hidden in okay. the makeup. Yeah. You know, and then it's one of those, oh, that was him. Mm-hmm. And and then you've got the, oh, this is a fantastic Which actress that we brought in for this, mm-hmm. you know, what, three minutes of screen time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Obviously, if the film was 15 minutes long, therefore it wouldn't be a cameo anymore because it's a majority of the film. So it's really difficult to say one way or the other I think where the line lies Mm -hmm. but I would say that maybe they could have given us just a bit more Mm -hmm. Ryan Cranston before getting rid of his character that Mm -hmm. way kind of giving us the fill as it were that we needed see see, when I think oh I don't I just had to bring this up but (laughs) I know this has nothing to do with Godzilla but I think I think the perfect cameo and please let us know, maybe perhaps on Twitter, or however, <laughs> what your favorite cameos are. I'd like to hear that. But Bill Murray in Zombieland, oh, yeah. I think, is the greatest cameo of all time. <laughs> uh, yes. To, to coin a phrase, Bill fucking Murray. Bill fucking Murray. <laughs> <laughs> and I know we've used yeah. this several times, but yeah, it is. I mean, because it is fantastic. luckily for me, that was not spoiled for me when I saw no, that yeah. film. And I was just, oh my God, my like one of my comedy heroes, I'm sure one of your comedy here oh yeah you know? and then it's just and then the part where he actually lets woody harrelson be yeah. <laughs> big man <laughs> yeah oh yeah best cameo <laughs> that is a yeah. fucking cameo all right well bill murray in general even to tiny more apparently mm-hmm. is just such a great person like the way that he interacts with fans or even just people mm-hmm outside of the film he will go out to people in restaurants and just steal a little bit of their food specifically telling them no one is ever going to believe you <laughs> oh yeah he's so aware of his celebrity that yeah. he just plays it up yeah, and yeah. uh Grand Budapest Hotel, have you seen yet? I have not. I really okay. want to. But he uh, has a wonderful. I, I don't want. Well, now I've spoiled it for you, but it's a wonderful cameo. I, I'm not surprised he's, not he's in it. it. Yeah, I'm not he is in it. It's a Wes Anderson it. film. Yeah. Of course he's in it. But yeah, it is a cameo. But even that, he just kills. Like, that's all you can watch. Right. All right. So, what the hell were we talking about? Uh, uh, think, Mothra? <laughs> oh, yes, Godzilla. Mecha <laughs> well, Godzilla? Let's talk a little bit then about the 1998 film. Basically, oh, do we have to? <laughs> well, only because I know a lot of people mm-hmm. won't have found out that that film, the monster in that film, the people that are in charge of the law and all that, they have technically gone in and said that it is a Zilla monster. Mm. I think I may have mentioned this in a previous thing, but yeah. yeah, it is a Zilla monster. It is not a Godzilla monster. So this... Godzilla is the Godzilla, and I think this Godzilla was a really good sort of reintroduction in the modern age to the character. Mm. I still think that anyone that is interested in Godzilla and wants to know more should Mm. see some of the old Godzilla. See the originals, yeah. Uh, Godzilla vs. Mothra, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Yeah, those are classics in my mind. And I. I think that you're going to have a thing now of are there going to be more? Because the guy who directed this has signed on for two more. I don't know if they're going to do two more. They probably will. And I just realized I never actually did the box office (laughs) and budget for this. So, yeah. And you can probably guess they will do more. Box office is 160 million. No. Budget, $160 million. Box office, $322,385,665 as of two days ago. So that is less than two weeks they have doubled their budget. So that is a profit, yes. Yes. <laughs> Just a bit of a profit and they're almost certainly going to make another one. So, yeah. Well, yeah, anytime you make that sort yeah. of money, yeah, there's definitely going to be another one. So, Even what? if it flops, it's going to be there. So even without getting too much into the bits and pieces of this film, as a whole, are you happy with the idea of there being more? I am. If they can maintain the tone that was set in this film, you know this is always my constant complaint in films. Cut down a little bit on the cheese, (laughs) the family unit aspect. I mean, if you're going to do that, play it up better because it was just cliched and eye-rolling for me. The, yeah. Especially the yeah. last scene where it's like 
every scene you've seen in a fucking movie where they reunite and they're just like running in slow motion towards each other and hugging and kissing each other on the forehead and and you're I'm puking in my lap because it's so fucking disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah like if do without that, but I, I the we have the effects now. Uh, if, if the story's there, you get a good writer on there. I don't see why another one can't be successful. No, yeah, I, pretty much my argument for it is that assuming they handle everything mm-hmm. as well, if not more so, than this one, I'm okay with at least one more. Yeah, I mean, it can't be... you you got to change it up a bit, though. Yeah. You, you, it can't just be Apocalypse again. It just can't be, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Apocalypse Redux or whatever. You know, uh, it, yeah. It, 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 there has to be something more to, oh, we're facing extinction. There has to be some <laughs> sort of twist, I think, in this next yeah. one where well, maybe Godzilla isn't just there to help us. Or maybe there's, you know, there, there's mm-hmm. got to be a new aspect to it. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's just a serial. You yeah. know, it's just a serial films where you're just, you know, Dick Tracy or whatever is just the new case or the new, you know, it's got to be exciting again. I can I can see that. The only issue becomes the fact that the old Godzilla films were, towards the end there, they were sort of becoming serials. So yeah. It was Godzilla fighting on our side yeah. against these weird monsters mm-hmm. or even with some weird monsters against some other weird monsters sometimes. So it kind of will become either, I think, there's going to be either something from out of space or another threat, yeah. but humanity has come along far enough that it can kind of be good at fighting these things and therefore Godzilla is needed for that, but comes up anyway. Or... As I said, something coming from outer space, which humanity is completely unequipped to deal with. Godzilla turns up sooner, and then you know maybe he is defeated, and there's something that has to happen on the human side for us to win. Yeah, I mean, I don't know too yeah. much about the original Godzilla, so I don't know how well, much. I'm just looking at a picture on. of the original Godzilla right now with him <laughs> holding a plane, and it's, yeah, you can yeah. definitely. Definitely see the advancement in 60 years. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I can't fault him, but uh, that is a great film, and it, I do believe it's still on Netflix. I watched it months ago. but uh, Yeah, and and, I, I need to get on watching some of those old mm-hmm. ones again. It's been yeah. way too long. <laughs> so, how do you feel, knowing the things you know about the old girls, how do you feel that they handled... The sort of retconning and the continuation of some of the themes and the lore of Godzilla. Like I, from what I've seen, I think it was very well done. I, yeah. I uh, do think it was a good tribute. I don't know if that is the right word. Well, I mean, but I can... do think it's a nice continuation of this this epic monster or if you, whatever you want to call it well what was your thinking well i think that it's done quite well if you don't realize the ken watanabe character is actually supposed to be a descendant of the original scientist from the original godzilla yeah which i i looked up and i thought well that's that's actually a nice touch that they did that and then I enjoyed the fact that they still were willing to change the old canon to the original atomic bomb testing went mm. from creating Godzilla oh my to wait to it was woken up and that was them trying to get mm. rid of it. Now my biggest question, which the film left completely unanswered, was if this thing is only supposed to wake up when there's a real threat to humanity, yeah. what the hell woke it up? Like and then why did it go away? Like did the atomic blast not kill it but knock it out? And now he's awake again? Like I don't. I, really I don't. Yes, I don't that. know if it's meant to be delved into that much. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. True. It's kind. It is kind of the problem with the, some of these films. Of the plot is giant monster. Yeah. And everything else kind of falls into place afterwards. Mm-hmm. So yeah, maybe me picking apart. The fact that they didn't go further into the history of this monster is a little nitpicky, but, <laughs> but that is kind of what I do. So, 
<laughs> it is kind of, oh, yes, what we do. Yeah. yeah. So, ooh, one thing I found out just today, actually, uh, when researching this, do you know who was originally offered the part of Lieutenant Ford Brody? Hmm. Chris Hemsworth. No. Uh... Nice guess, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Captain America. No. No. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> Joseph Gordon Levitt. Really? Yeah. Well, we haven't seen him in a movie for about eight minutes, so <laughs> <laughs> it, he is due. Yeah. Apparently, he was offered it in 2012, mm. but he declined. Okay. So then, obviously, they moved on mm. and went with who they went with. But I'm wondering if I I don't know what your feelings on it were, mm. but nothing necessarily against Aaron Taylor Johnson, but I think the script for his particular character didn't have a huge amount for him to play with, mm. and so he kind of came off a bit wooden for most of this. Uh, a little, uh, yeah, a little Anakin Skywalker for me. Uh, Hayden Christensen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mannequin Skywalker, as many call him. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. That was that was kind of my feeling too. The whole, like I, you know, I alluded to before, the whole familial aspect needed to be downplayed, and I think more focus on Godzilla. Yeah, he's the the main attraction. He, you know, <laughs> show him in all his glory, and yeah. and just everyone else get the fuck out of the way because <laughs> Godzilla is here to fuck up shit, <laughs> you know, and save her ass. Right, but yeah. and have you know nineteen billion dollars in collateral damage. Well, but yeah. <laughs> that's what you get. You Still know. not as bad as Superman. No, no, no. Still so nowhere near as Murdered much. people yeah. flying through gas stations. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, ooh, should I kill Zed? Oh, yeah. Zod? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Superman killed Zed? Wow, that explains why it wasn't in Men in Black 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was your feeling on the fact that Godzilla isn't actually in the film until halfway through? Were you okay uh, with the build-up? Well, I I was okay. I was getting a little impatient, um, <laughs> a la Avengers, waiting for them to, to be, be formed. The yeah. yeah. I know you need those scenes, but good God, that took a long time, Avengers. <laughs> and still a fantastic fucking movie. Right. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, but I was like, okay, this is Godzilla, right? You yeah. know, let's have some more talking with uh, Brian Cranston and his son. And, you know, and, uh, <laughs> you know, going through the old house and whatever, all that stuff. And yeah. Going through the restricted zone or whatever it was. And I'm just <laughs> waiting and waiting. But it was a good payoff. Yeah. I mean, it was really good. And then, I don't know how you felt. I was, you know, uh, the initial shots were very close. Like his head or yeah. his side or arms or whatever. And then, I would say maybe 20 minutes later or something, you actually see a full shot of him in the skyline. And he yeah. looked just majestic. Just, <laughs> yeah. uh, just, I mean, just towering over these buildings. And... Because I was waiting, like, oh, I'm like, wow. Because I was thinking, wow, we have these great effects, but they still can't do a wide shot on him. Right. Like, because it's going to fall apart on a wide shot. It's not going to be believable. <laughs> and then they did it, and it was fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That was my feeling. No, it, it was a, a really good reveal, as it were. Because yeah. you, you got the bits and pieces, and then... When it did cut to that one shot of the four guys, wow, that was a really yeah. You see him head to toe, and yeah, it's wow. Definitely worth the price of admission just there. I think. Yeah. (laughs) Now there was one thing I was listening to which said that the one problem they had with the film, which I didn't even think about until they said it, was that when you could have done with one character a lot of times you ended up with two like, uh, like Ken yes, Watanabe example. and his assistant okay yeah you are shown one military higher up and then less than 30 seconds later you are immediately shown his superior the main character happens to have not just one but both of his parents die off within 30 minutes of screen time so I understand that the dad needed the mother dying to become obsessed with this quest. But still, <laughs> it's like, okay, we're going to kill off one and two parents. Yeah. And then you have just infinite number of soldiers who just end up all dying. Like, it's... Well, yeah, you know. 
it, I, I understand the need for fodder in films like this, but yeah, even you, so, <laughs> like, you, you are shown two separate groups of soldiers that he joins, and all but the main character end up dying in both scenarios. It's a little too many characters that they decided to. Was, put yeah, in there was a lot of yeah trying to get to a lot of characters. Yeah, yeah that could have been cut in half easily. I think. <laughs> uh, like I said before, Godzilla is why we're there. Yeah, <laughs> why we bought the ticket to see Godzilla to see you know mass destruction on a large scale and for the most part that's what we got but yeah. there was a lot of I think needless blah 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 <laughs> <laughs> to uh, you know put it eloquently yeah, <laughs> a, yeah. a lot of padding as it were yeah. and it was padding at the wrong part of the film as well it was padding before you got to see Godzilla for mm-hmm. most. yeah and can I just say that if there's a I don't know how many ton monster but you know something that is twice the size of a skyscraper that is screaming in my face. <laughs> I'm not just going to stare at it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like uh, Zachary Taylor Thomas did. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but I am going to need a change of pants. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, or the, well, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't guys. Maybe it was the Mutas or whatever that like screamed right at him. I you know, it was like face to face. Yeah. Just like red eyes, just burning into him, and he's like, "Hey, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah." That's not what anyone would do. No, yeah. <laughs> Especially, I think at that point he he knows exactly what those things can do. Yeah. And he's still just like, "Oh, it's a bit mad at me now." Hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Sorry. Yeah. I, you're running. I mean, uh, maybe you're paralyzed with fear, but you're just not going to stare at it no, like yeah. your Clint Eastwood, <laughs> like Mick Marty. No, <laughs> that would have been interesting. <laughs> Clint Eastwood as an old army soldier doing something. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, that would have been a nice cameo. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, can I can I get to a couple of the nitpicks I had? And this is just like observations yes. I had when I was watching the film. So the shot where the buses are trying to get out of the city, and Godzilla ends up turning up and blocking the bridge for the most part Mm -hmm. now number one did you notice that Godzilla seemed to get in the way of a couple of the rockets like the rockets were fired at Godzilla and they seemed to be going for the bus and then Godzilla would kind of move I don't remember making a note of that it it was just one of those things that you could kind of see the rocket being fired at this bridge full of civilians because Godzilla's near it and then Godzilla would just kind of get in the way oh okay (laughs) Okay. I'm kind of recalling that now yeah so you know you had that and so that's almost kind of a commentary on like well the military just fire 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 ask questions later and Godzilla's even trying to help against them but then there was the point where he I can't remember if he ripped or if he bit through one of the suspension wires and the other half of the wire falls flat in front of the bus stopping them from getting forward at all. Oh yeah, but then the then and the then wire is gone. gone. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> yes. Oh, I completely forgot about that, but I'm like I remember watching that. I was like so they didn't back up and turn around, but no, the, they then they, like the bus driver's like, screw this, I'm out of here, and yeah. then just drove forward, and the wire wasn't, yeah. oh, and, come and on. It, it wasn't it's a completely obvious cheat. Yeah, and it, it also, like, it fell, there are only yeah. people on the bridge, so you, you can start to think, well, okay, maybe they were moving it while we then saw the next shot. The next shot was ten seconds long or no. less before he floors it. Yeah. There is no way anyone on that bridge could have moved no. that wire out of the way. No. <laughs> it's an enormous cable. Yeah, you're yeah. not moving that out of the way in 10 minutes, not even yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah, I, so, I remember yeah. that. I'm like, hmm. And I, was, I remember like looking around at it. Is anyone else calling bullshit on this? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm like, okay, no one is. All right, I guess I'll get back to enjoying the fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, back to just watching Godzilla now. All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> rum, 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 rum. Yes, yeah. Yeah. A rum. I didn't get a rum for the middle one. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the second thing was they are going down into the pit with the eggs and the monsters mm, and all that yeah. stuff. And they are just so courteous to use that door, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Despite the fact that we see that there's nothing around said door. <laughs> they could have quite easily gone around. But no, they had to go through the little hallway. And Back to Blazing Saddles with the toll. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the, <laughs> the Wild West. I, I saw that and I was like, huh. 
But they really didn't think it would be easier to just go around the thing they had to step up into and then through the doorway. They 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 just yeah okay let's do that and then he goes back through it when they leave. Again, they have to climb up harder to get like okay. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I know you have to give a, a certain <laughs> pass to some of those things, but I mean, come on, the, why, the, the cable was what just yeah yeah that, through me. Like, that one was my biggest nitpick. Like, yeah. This one was just kind of a why was that even there type of thing. But true, yeah, I know. It sounds like every film we talk about, we just hate. And then we're like, <laughs> we love it at the end. <laughs> I know, well, that, that's the thing. Like, we, yeah. But uh, also, talking about how much you love something is very boring. <laughs> yeah. There, there's not very many films where there's almost nothing that you can yeah. pick apart from it. Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. <was> my answer. <laughs> to that. <laughs> but yeah, so, and, and it's one of those things of, part of my enjoyment, at least, of films, is to sit down and just think about all of these things and then maybe you research some of it or just look at the special features mm-hmm. and see if they have anything in there or even if it's just one of those of, huh, I might be one of you know only 1% of people that really notice this so yeah. uh, mm-hmm. so it's it's always fun yeah you never know why those things happen is it time is it budget is it you know just yeah. <laughs> why did they do that decision or it's just trying to move the story along whatever it is <laughs> Yeah. But still, it's fun to see those things, and, yeah. and I love like, finding continuity errors in films. Like, <laughs> oh, a cup's there, and then the cup's gone, and then you know, he yeah. has a mustache. And, oh, there's no mustache. With the scar's <laughs> on the left cheek, and then it's on the right cheek. Yeah, I love finding that shit. Well, yeah, so it's always fun for you to see it, and then yeah. I I like to think it's fun for other people too. Once yeah. they hear it, they're like, okay, now they're watching that, mm-hmm. and then they might also be looking yeah. for others. I mean, as long, as long as, like, in this case, as long as there was still something else to enjoy. Yeah. You know, if I was just sitting there bored out of my mind trying to just find screw-ups, that's one thing. Yeah. But it's, like, still being entertained and then finding a few funny little things going on. Yeah, I mean, it, it even gives a lot of films, for me, replay value is you watch it the first time to really enjoy it. You might notice a thing mm-hmm. or two. And then the next time you sit down to enjoy it, you're not at the point of, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. So you're more free to... Look at the background. Yeah, your mind can enjoy operate it. on a few different levels. Yeah. yeah, other than just trying to pay attention to the plot. Yeah, which yeah, this film, plot-wise, not the most strenuous. But I, even I so, thought the opening was terribly condensed and confusing. I, I, yeah, I, I, I can, mean, if you're not, it, it's kind of like trig, advanced trigonomics. If you're not picking <laughs> it up immediately, you're <laughs> lost. Yeah, <laughs> it's, and it was just like nuclear testing this and that and. I mean, I understood what was going on, but I thought it was very compressed. And I don't know, I, I pride myself on being of a slightly above <laughs> average intelligence, but I thought it was somewhat muddled. I don't know. Well, I, I can see that. I mean, it was it was one of those things. Like, okay, where... so how again did nuclear testing create Godzilla? Like, <laughs> yeah, with evolution and all well, this. Yeah. Yeah. And, it... mm-hmm. and he's feeding on radiation from the core. As Like, how is that affecting our... Yeah, I mean that you know, is or, that is one yeah. thing that they or orbit or anything like that. They yeah. say they do say that the monsters are sort of feeding on this stuff, mm-hmm. but they never actually say how. Like you have the thing where yeah, is he, it is it a crazy straw or <laughs> <laughs> is it like cereal? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about it, the egg, as it were, mm-hmm. with the hatching of the Mothra guy, uh, how did it? take the radiation mm. or whatever like it obviously it said that it drew in the radiation but then it eats radiation later like literally eats the bombs and stuff like that yeah later. so how does it yeah so, so there must be some way for it to absorb it through this, the epidermis yeah or something. <laughs> it just you know it just never takes in the radiation like like we would get radiation poisoning but they're being fed yeah. Something I mean, like, you know. It's one of those things where, again, they don't spend too much time on developing that side of the Mutos. No. They spend more time like, okay, so this was when we tried to kill Godzilla and it didn't work. And I, I did love the brilliant thing. And no one in the film said it. I don't care what the force of the blast is. They're still giving radiation to radiation-eating monsters yeah. as an attempt to kill it. 
That makes no sense. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I thought that too. Like, how can he just not absorb all of that at once? Yeah. Or, you know, just. I mean, like Godzilla wasn't killed by the force or the radiation from the original one. Mm-hmm. Even if you times that by however much amount it was, mm-hmm. I think by a scale of a thousand. The new monsters, there's no saying that they won't absorb the force as well as the radiation. Like, there's nothing. Yeah, the force you need doesn't a weapon seem... that isn't radioactive. <laughs> yeah, like you know, maybe just an actual giant missile would have done the trick. <laughs> yeah, I'm... yeah, or or done what I thought they should have done would be a giant missile with the clockwork thing in it set for I don't know thirty minutes. You then lace it with a a bit of radiation and get the damn thing to eat it, yeah. <laughs> and then explode inside. Or, yeah. <laughs> Like, given that they so clearly wanted to eat everything, like this fir- after eating the first set of stuff, I would have been thinking of ways to yeah. not get the radioactive stuff and give them right. something that explodes. Well, or just, uh, you could have Gypsy Danger piloted by Raleigh and well, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy Danger would work. So he's not radioactive. They're analog, you know, they're not oh, digital, yeah. so. Oh, yeah. I, I think I think we sold the second film. Go yes. Go the Gypsy Danger. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we need to get Guillermo del Toro to direct the next one. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'll be nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I, uh... uh I think I've said all I have to say on this one. Yeah, I don't have too much else written down on here. The only thing I can think of extra is that I don't care what rating I end up giving it, what rating mm-hmm. you end up giving it. I think that this sort of thing, where it is modernized well, yeah, and it is taking an old type of film and then adding slightly different ideas to it and even trying to go a new way with it at least the be- mm-hmm. the beginning because the original Godzilla he wasn't the good guy but still yeah yeah I, I think that we need to see more of this sort of thing from Hollywood rather than uh, oh 10 years ago was it let's remake that yeah like, let's well, really I mean, focus with the I mean uh, Peter stuff. Jackson tried to do it with King Kong you know, yeah, it was the 1933 and that, yeah. you know, and then, I mean, yeah, there were other King Kongs in there, the Jessica Lang one, whatever, but, you know, that was trying to take it in a new direction. Yeah. And some people like that film, some people not. Yeah. I tend to agree I, with the latter. I, I think the biggest but, problem with yeah. that is it tried to put too much in it and then made it a little too corny. Oh, well, yeah. And it was <laughs> seriously way too long, too. Yeah. There's, there's no reason for that film. For a film that's originally like, 33 minutes or 40 minutes to be three hours long. Yeah. yeah. I, well, yeah, take out and the hey, dinosaurs. The Andy Circus connection. Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Andy Circus was. Yes, that, that's why we're allowed to tangent to King yes. Kong there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so moving on, I think I will give this film a minus 3.5. Mm. Now, I did enjoy it. Yeah, but as we said, I thought the acting was a little wooden from mm-hmm. from some of the cast. Not enough use of some of the uh, more really now well established actors, and you know maybe too many people in it. I think, and I am one of the people that it seems to me is very odd that I actually enjoyed the build up to Godzilla. I didn't mind the wait, but even after that you kind of didn't get to see as much of Godzilla as you would have liked. It was still a lot of the other monsters Mm -hmm. or setting up the final fight for the monsters and all that. Although, one thing that I didn't mention before which just popped into my head, one of the best little scenes I've seen for a while was when they jumped out of that plane and you just got to see them going through the clouds and you got to see Godzilla from that side as well. It was... It was a really well done scene, and then it was back to oh, let's go slightly cheesy. But yeah, that that's my two I, cents, as it were. And yeah, I'll, I'll, minus three point five, I think. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'll give my rating. And then I remembered one other thing I wanted to mention. But my rating, <laughs> I think you're right on with yours. Actually, uh, I would say minus three point five to minus four for me. Right. And I say that because I don't think I'm going to have a lot of enjoyment 
rewatching it. Yeah. Um, and I think it's going to be one of those films that's less. It doesn't hold my entertainment or my love of it as long like The Avengers or, you know, whatever, where I can just pop in any afternoon and right. get pretty close to the same experience I had watching it in the theater. It might be you yeah. only really rewatch it when the sequel comes out. Just yeah. Yeah. So. But I still think it's an enjoyable film. I still think it's something that if you're into the action films, if you're into monster films or these large-scale action destruction type things, right. definitely worth it. I do think the, the build-up to Godzilla was a little too long. I do think there needed to be a little more peaks or whatever, a little more payoffs earlier. Yeah, than I mean, I, I fully understand that. that. I enjoy... Yeah. The slow burn type stuff, but it, yeah. I, I do. I mean, it is a if, if I'm watching film. a two hour Godzilla film, I want to see two hours of Godzilla, <laughs> not you know, 58 minutes of Godzilla, yeah, or whatever it was. I, I yeah, same. So, minus 3.5 for me. And I did just want to mention if you haven't seen this other film, kind of a Netflix recommender or whatever, Gareth Edwards, who was the director of this. His other film, Monsters. Have yeah, you seen Monsters? I have seen Monsters. I yes. think it is a beautiful film. I think it is so well done. Yeah. <laughs> and check that movie out. I mean, <laughs> you think it's one thing, it's kind of like the trailer thing again. If you would ever watch a trailer for it, you think it's just this nonstop, kind of these enormous aliens, you know, that are uh, inhabiting Earth and there are these restricted zones and these two people are like trying to make their way home or whatever it is it's been so long since I've seen it yeah but I, uh, I think the one guy goes in to rescue the girl. yeah she's like a journalist or whatever but it is just such an incredible film I loved it I mean there, it's just a great example of storytelling for me and juxtaposed against these enormous <laughs> aliens and, and I just love that film and uh, it's something I need to see again but I would definitely say uh, I was much happier with that film than I was with this right. but uh, it, it definitely shows that he has the chops I think I don't know you know what involvement he had in that film per se but check out Monsters I mean oh my gosh like obviously the guy has a style Monsters Godzilla <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever but uh, it's nothing like Godzilla first of all but yeah, so uh, minus well, 3.5. Well, I will say then, good news for you. Uh, there is a sequel. Sequel in the work for Monsters? Started filming yeah. in March. Yeah, it was 2010 on Monsters. But yeah. I do believe, I think that might be available on Netflix. I don't know. Yeah, it, I'm fairly certain Monsters is, yeah. is on Netflix. I think I saw it there mm -hmm. last week. All right. Well, I think I'm Godzilla'd out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, see you next time. Muta the button. <laughs> All right, see you next time, folks. <laughs>